Let's do this thing. Yeah, what could go wrong here? I really gotta quit asking that shit. At least I have a lot to hold on to. Yeah, this one's a lot harder to reach. But, looks like we'll get it. Well, so I have to put my drill behind me. I feel like I'm working on a car or something right now. No, I don't usually like to make it a habit of climbing up a step ladder leaned against a wall. So we do have some blocking we're going to throw in there just to cleat that off. That's a big problem with the step ladders, they'll, they'll take off on you. And I am not healed up enough to land on this leg, I'll tell you that. It doesn't have to be much, just enough to hold that. Keep it from kicking out. The other leg's right, right up against the scaffold wheel. That's, there's only the wheels on the one end. So. Okay, let's see if we can spring this board. See, she's bowed a little bit, crowned a little I should say. You guys getting a kick out of this? Watching some crippled dumbass climb a ladder? I'm getting a kick out of it. Headlight on. Yeah, I'm having fun guys. I'm having a good time tonight. We have to make a transition here. Kind of don't like that very much. But we're going to go with it. So I need to measure over 2 and 5 eighths. And try to get this on here square. Need to drop down three and a quarter. <laughs> what are the odds that I ended that line right exactly at three and a quarter? Now we got to change angles right here. It's going to be almost a 45 degree angle now. So I'll get my handy dandy.
Take one of our rafter cutoffs. Hey, this is a tool you don't see used to. I, I mean, I don't see a ton of people using these anymore. Well, boy, they're so nice and handy. You get her lined up nice right there. That's the angle we need for the rest of it. And you just use it like a speed square. And then I'll continue the line on. Probably screwing you guys up with that headlight. There. Hopefully that'll get us our transition. So we're going from like a 412 pitch right here to a 12-12 right here. It's not quite 12-12. It's it's off just a little bit from 12-12, but it's really close. So we'll zip that off, cut all this out, see what we get. See if we can't get another one, guys. Kind of moving slow, but there's a lot of cutting and dicking around. And like I said, not uh, not being able to do it from the outside kind of slows things down quite a bit. But what I'd like to do before I send them up, I'll put my screws in the top. It makes it a little, actually gives me something to grab onto when I'm pulling the board up, and it's a lot easier for me because that way I'm not trying to hold screws and the drill and everything and trying to squeeze the board in where they've got to go from up above it's a little bit a little bit safer for me so let's see what we can do here Nice as I have my ledger board, I put that on too. Didn't show that on the camera because you guys don't need to see how I'm putting that on. I don't need any evidence kicking around. Better move that cord. go holy cow guys If it's the first time, there's something wrong there. Something ain't right. That never happens. Let me 
damned it fits the first time. And nice straight board too. Alright. Oh, I love that clamp idea. What a good idea. I hate these bottom ones. That's the best damn trick I've been told in a long time. It's a good night tonight. Real good night. Oh, good and sore. Time to go in. But, uh, well, we're over halfway closed in on this gable end. I'm to a point on this side, though, where I have to break out the ladder and do it from the outside. It's only three boards. It's not that high up. I think what I'm going to do, though, because I'm, I'm just paranoid now about falling off of this thing again, I think I'll scab a 2 by on the outside and have it stick out. That way the ladder can't tip out that way and maybe I'll put a block or something on the other side. I probably don't have to worry that much about it, but you know, it's a uh, little gun shy, you know what I mean? Just just how it is after all that. But um, anyway, I'm getting pretty happy here. We're starting to see some good progress, you know. Uh, making up for a summer lost, and that's that's really hard to do this time of year. I mean, we're into November... We'll have this roof on if the weather calms down. It's a nice night tonight, but it was pretty good, pretty good windy today. Uh, Sunday's supposed to be really nice, so they're coming. The uh, brother-in-law and father-in-law, I call them Pop and Boomer. That's that's the guys. Pop and Boomer are coming. Um, they're going to work on the roof Sunday, Saturday. Pop's going to be here, and him and I'll, uh, him and I are just going to plug away in what we can. We've got a lot of snow in the forecast coming up. But snow you can kind of deal with. The only thing that really sucks this time of year with snow is it when it melts off, it just saturates everything. Even I mean, this frame's been saturated so many times I can't believe it's still standing sometimes. But I tell you what, screwing into these timbers and all that, and drilling those peg holes. I was checking the chips as I was drilling them, and uh, 
everything's good and solid. I, I haven't found any rot spots or anything else, so... But, it won't be too many more... If this goes another season, I'm going to have some real issues, I think, with this frame. Uh, ran into a few things where some things kind of moved a little bit. Not that much, but it did throw off some of the rafters, but we were able to deal with it. It wasn't terrible. But, um, so that's where we're at. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, as I enjoyed the hell out of this one. And it's a little bit better than that last windy video where you couldn't hear a damn word I was saying up here. But, uh, gotta have my coffee, you know. But, anyway... We're just plugging along, one board at a time, right? I had a viewer put a comment in earlier, and I thought it was kind of neat. Or They made a comment over on Reddit. I would shared a, one of the videos, one of the Birth of a Wooden Barn videos, I shared over, over in the timber frame section in Reddit. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of a pretty flattering comment on there. A guy said uh, it was like watching, watching Noah build his ark. Uh, I don't know, guys. Sometimes I feel like maybe it's Job up here building this damn thing, but it is coming along. I tell you what, now that the rafters are on and we're starting to get the second floor closed in some, you could really start to see just how big this damn thing is. I mean, this is, uh, it's the same footprint as my house, but it's two levels. I mean, we're 2,800 square foot, something like that, a little bit over, almost 3,000 altogether on this. So that's pretty cool. That's actually uh, really cool. Going to be a nice shop, you know, and the boss and the kids will have the one bay up here. Apparently, uh, my mother-in-law had a pool table down in their business. <laughs> They're going to send up here, so Mary's going to lose part of her workout area, I guess, for a pool table for the kids and whatnot. And, but that's all right. I want this building to be a family thing where the whole family can come out here and enjoy this, not just me, you know. I mean, this is kind of my Tajma shop I'm building, but um, it's really important to me that the family has some use and gets some enjoyment out of this, especially with, they've been so patient, you know, three years of me doing this, working on this thing. They've been so patient with it. And I know, uh, Mary, there's been times where she's just been plain sick of this project, and I don't blame her. That's all she's heard about for three years is... The barn, the barn, the barn, the barn. That's all you guys have heard about for two years is the barn, the barn, the barn. The uh, But now that she sees rafters on and siding, she's getting really excited because now she can kind of see what she's her area is going to be in here, and she's really excited about that. So, so this second floor, we're going to have the wood shop up here. I do cabinet work and things like that, and... Um, I think I put some, some cabinet pictures from some work I've done on Instagram a while back. So if any of you guys are curious about that, you can go check out the Tradesman channel on Instagram. And there's quite a few pictures in there. There's some pictures from my day job. You guys can see some of the stuff I work on. I don't run the camera too much at work. I've done it once or twice, but it's kind of an awkward thing, you know. I don't want to be running a camera, you know, with a customer standing there and... Most of you guys tune in for the timber framing and things like that. You're not really interested in what I'm working on at work. And that would kind of take away some of the joy out of doing the YouTube videos for me, to be quite honest with you. Because this is uh, this project's very special to me, and it's become special to a lot of you. And uh, I don't want to wreck that, you know, by bringing in my job. You know, that'd be, that'd be awful. Maybe down the road we might do some more. Especially if it's uh, problems you guys might run into yourself with your home heating, things like that. But uh, anyway, that's it. It's about 11 o'clock here tonight. <laughs> I'm noticing I, I'm not putting in the long days that I used to. and But they're getting longer again, which is really nice. And it's loosening me up quite a bit. This up and down the stairs all night long, climbing up that 6-footer, the 10-footer, it's really loosening me up. I'm not... I'm not liking the extension ladder. I can tell you that. Um, I'm trying to avoid that. I'm really not supposed to be on it anyway. But uh, I'm just not comfortable at all. And I'm I'm off of, uh, at work, I'm on light duty still. So basically no ladders type thing. No lugging on big heavy stuff. That's why I have the apprentice with me. And... So, doing the ladder stuff I probably shouldn't be doing, but 
end of the day, this has to get done. I just have to be much more careful with what I'm doing and really watch this thing, you know. it's uh, It lets me know when it's time to go in for the night, and it's it's about there now, but it's doing pretty well. We're, we're doing, re for everything that has happened on this build and on this project, every delay, every, just everything, we're really doing well. We're hitting it hard right now. I'm able to get out here and, and work. We've got some lights now so I can run the camera so you guys aren't just seeing a uh, headlamp flashing around all over the place, you know, look like Blair Witch Project or something. So we're moving along. So didn't I say I was going to be done for the night? Have a good night, guys. I'll see you on the next one.